Hey, what's up everyone? Justin from Core Performance here with a quick video that a bunch of you have been asking us for, how to upgrade your issued MSV or modular scalable vest. This applies obviously to all soldiers, uh, Marines, airmen, sailors. I think you are spared from this video, so you may check out now if you choose, uh, or if you choose to be entertained, carry on. So the first thing that we're gonna start with when it comes to MSV upgrades is we're gonna start with hydration. Uh, hydration and sustainment, something everybody has to deal with. And the way we're gonna start with that is ice plate curve. How do you carry an ice plate curve with the MSV? And the answer is actually super simple. We've got two ways to carry the uh, ice plate curve and, and have hard cell uh, hydration on your MSV. First method is using our IMS combo, which is uh, shown here already installed in the back. Now we used Coyote to be able to show contrast for the video so it would be nice and easy to see on camera. And we did that throughout with a bunch of different accessories, which we'll show you guys in a minute here. So the way that this works is the IMS just mollies onto the back of your MSV. You slide your ice plate curve into the sleeve, taking advantage of our hydration as a magazine concept, and then your pre-routed Source 90 drink tube uh, just clips into the ice cap like that. Super easy. Now, if you want, uh, this, uh, you know, IMS is only good for external hard cell hydration, but if you want to take advantage of the conductive thermoregulation, that is conductive cooling and heating that uses the 50 ounces of water you already have to carry, then we have another way that you can carry an ice plate. And this is how. Okay, so ice plate was originally designed to be carried internally like this, kind of, um, but MSV doesn't have a ton of options. It doesn't have loop fields on the inside or laser cut molly like some of the more advanced designs on the market today. Um, you know, the, the private sector and commercial options, uh, you know, this being a kind of a, a government project, it's just got a very simple uh, interior. So there's not a ton of mounting options. This is one way you can carry an ice plate though uh, on the inside if you're in a super hot environment. I mean, the MSV is a lot of material. So there's a lot of surface area coverage. You know, protection was kind of the objective of PEO soldier. So they made sure to cover a lot of your body. And in doing so, it's gonna trap a lot of heat. Um, so having the heat injury offset of ice plate curve could be super valuable. Uh, and this is basically a way you can mount it. It's not super pretty. It's not as elegant as, you know, our ice plate XO, which we'll put a picture in right here. So we can show you, or some of the other carriers, we're gonna show integrations with say the Spirit of Systems LV119, uh, the Cry Precision JPC 2.0, the Cry ADS, all of those, uh, you know, I think the integrations are much, much more elegant, but if you are issued an MSV and you have to wear it, and you want to prevent heat stroke, this is how you can do it. So uh, you have a one wrap strip wrapped around uh, cinching underneath the cummerbund. And then to secure the top, you use our armor straps and we're showing what both green and uh, coyote look like so that you can kind of tell whichever one you want to pick, you can go with, but this way you can see both colors. And that kind of takes care of the rigging on the inside and it'll hang just fine. And then the way that those armor straps then basically loop through the molly and we looped it through the IMS here just for demonstration purposes, but it does the same thing if it's uh, using the molly that is on the MSV itself. So that's how to mount an ice plate, external hard cell hydration, IMS combo. If you want cooling, heating and hydration, then you can go with the internal mount here uh, like this using the armor straps and some one wrap, which we have available on our website. Uh, next up, shoulder pads. MSV's got a lot of hardware on it, and it's a pretty heavy rig. Uh, the uh, MSV weighs 25 pounds in uh, fully loaded configuration, and that's obviously before you get to your combat loadout or your sustainment or anything like that. That's just the full up armor system. So shoulder you know, load bearing is gonna be pretty important. And again, because MSV covers so much surface area of your body, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have ventilation, uh, convective, uh, ventilated cooling, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have some type of conductive cooling, if at all possible, especially if you're in a humid climate. So addressing the shoulders, we've got Ice Vents Classic. These are our Ice Vents Classic heavy loadout plate carrier shoulder pads. Again, for demonstration purposes, we're showing both Coyote and we're showing black. I'm assuming most people are gonna to wanna to go Coyote, but we showed the black just in case. Uh, both options are available on our website. So as you can see, the uh, Ice Vents Classic are able to contain both tube routing as well as uh, cover the entire footprint of the MSV shoulder pads. And when you mount it all up underneath, they will provide standoff ventilation, totally antimicrobial at the molecular level, so you don't have to worry about any of that stank, uh, you know, 
throwing salt on your game and it'll keep you good to go and sharp where you need to be. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So we hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully this was really helpful. We're going to put links to all of these resources down below as well as the blog article that's going to cover this in a little bit more detail with hyperlinks. This is the part where I ask the 88% of you that are not subscribed to our channel to go ahead and subscribe so you can make sure that you get all the upgrade, uh, boost your mojo content that we're going to keep bringing you here on Insights and hit those like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you turn on those notifications. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you next time. Stay frosty.